Hi everyone, today I thought I would do a video on the road to Charlie Island. Charlie Island is one of the islands you can visit from Diani. I'm going to show you how to get there by road, mainly because I love this road. It is a traditional old uh, Mombasa road. This is how all the roads used to be. The road from Nairobi to Mombasa used to be like this. It's now been since tarmac thank God for that. But it is a typical off-road uh, road and no tarmac on here. It's total gravel. Uh, absolutely fantastic if you've got a trial bike, which is what I'm using today. And really love being out in the countryside. Peaceful, no other traffic. Well, hardly any other traffic. And yeah, the road to Charlie Island. I'm so excited today. I've hired this trial bike and I'm heading off to Charlie Island. It's cost me a thousand shillings to hire this bike, which is about seven pounds for the day. And I mean, that's a bargain as far as I'm concerned. As I come off the main Diani road where tarmac turns to rubble. And coming up to Soul Breeze on the left hand side, this place is absolutely amazing. You get a chance to pop in there. They've got an amazing beach bar, fantastic little vibe going on down there and the beaches are absolutely paradise. Well worth a visit. And then on the left hand side we've got Cusini Beach Cottages. I mean this place is absolutely amazing. The cottages are fantastic and the food is out of this world. I mean they do, they're probably the only place in Diani that does actually do a traditional English breakfast. And after that it's dirt track. This is what the old Mombasa roads all used to be like. No tarmac, just gravel and mud. And I love it. It's absolutely fantastic terrain for riding a trial bike. This is an old traditional Mombasa road. I mean, the roads from Nairobi to Mombasa used to be like this until they tarmac them. Um, thank God they tarmac them because I don't think everyone's got a trial bike. But it was proper safari. I mean, this is a proper safari road. If you go to any of the safari parks, all the roads are like this. So it gives you that sort of feeling that you're on safari. The beautiful thing about this road is on the way, there are loads of hotels and little stop-off points that you can go and view. I mean, the hotels welcome you in. And if you have something to eat, they'll probably let you use their swimming pool. And sometimes they'll ask a little charge for the swimming pool, or sometimes they'll just let you use it free of charge. I mean, it's worth sticking your neck in and just having a look, even if it's just to have a beer in their beach bar. Some of these places are absolutely amazing, even though it's off the main beaten track. So loads of these fantastic baobab trees on the way. And this is like going on safari, it really is. They'll be stopping off at certain places on the way and showing you what they're all about, just so as you basically know that you can actually get to Charlie Island by road. You can, of course, go by coach or by minibus. It's normally about 500 shillings, which is again about £3.50 but hey why not buy yourself a bike or hire a car and do the drive yourself. I mean tell me I need to get out more if you want but this really is my kind of adventure you know I mean grit in your eye every time a car passes by, dust all around you, the wind in your hair I mean it's absolute wilderness fantastic I just love it. This is my idea of a great little adventure I mean, where else in the world have you got to stop to let chickens cross the road? <laughs> anyway, that's, the, that's about as far as the wildlife goes on this road, uh, apart from wild dogs. Um, I don't recommend going down here at night because there are no street lamps and there are no signposts. So it is a case of literally follow your nose. Um, be careful of uh, things running out in front of you. But yeah, on the right hand side we've got the Bora Bora Wildlife Sanctuary and this place is amazing. I mean they look after animals. They've it's a small sanctuary but they've got quite a bit going on. And I've also done a video on this and there is a link above if you want to click that and see the video on Bora Bora Wildlife Park. All the information is there about the park. As I say, this road is amazing and I love it. It really is an old Mombasa road and well worth, uh, well worth taking a day out and travelling down this road.
So anyway, on my way, I've come across Kaya Kinondo Sacred Forest. Kaya Kinondo Sacred Forest, welcome to. Stay in Kenya, stay in Kaya Kinondo Eco Bandas, walk in Sacred Forest, buy souvenirs and refreshments. Jambo Rafiki. Sasa kuingia ni shilingi ngapi? Elf moja. One thousand. Elf moja. Yeah. So it's a thousand shillings to get in. Na gani yuko uko ndani? Unaona mnyama hapo ndani ama kitu? We have small ones, we don't have big five. Okay, so just... Common, uh, baboons. So we got baboons, uh, yeah, monkeys. Colobus monkeys. Mm. Dicky dicks, antelopes. Dick dick. Okay, so there's, there's a smaller array of animals here. And on a west kulala apu siku, iko mabali kulala. Okay. So the houses are broken at the moment for staying the night, but you can come in and have a little walk around. And uh, yeah. Uh, now, wana fanya namna gani? Wana tembea ama wende na piki piki ama? Uwa ni wana cha walk. Cha walk. Walk. Walking. Oh, walking. So it's all walking. So yeah, for a thousand shillings, you can walk through the sacred forest and. Uh, be shown around and show a bit of traditional African way of living. Okay, San Sanaban. You'll never believe this, but I was fortunate enough to see some lions. I was looking into the bush on the side of the road. And look at that. I caught an eye of some lions. Yeah, amazing. Fantastic creatures. So this is the road to Charlie Island. So just remember, there is a possibility that when taking a road to Charlie Island, that you may come across lions. Of course, they're not real lions. But, obviously, at some point, they were um, part of a hotel structure or you know for some reason here maybe a safari lodge I have to be careful where I step here because this is proper snake territory and last thing I want to do is get bitten by a snake especially any of these snakes around here because they pack a punch that you probably wouldn't recover from so yeah, some lions on the road to Charlie Island. So arriving at Charlie Island, um, basically this is the office where you're going to come and get your ticket from. You can't actually get a ride here, but you come to the main office, check in and get your ticket at the reception. It's about 4,000 shillings to get across to Charlie Island. The road to Charlie Island brings you to um, the end of the road basically and from here you will get a boat you could actually probably even walk if you had the nerve to do so but basically this is where you'll get your boat from when the tide is in obviously uh, I don't recommend trying to walk it you've got a lot of mud plains and all kinds of stuff you might get stuck in but yeah so basically this is the end of uh, the road the Diani road to Charlie Island and over there is Charlie Island for all the information there is a link below um, but there you have it Charlie Island apparently there is a white sandy beach on the other side although it looks just like it's surrounded by cliffs uh, apparently there's a hotel on there as well 
But four thousand shillings will get you your um, will get you your uh, a, a meal over there and get you over there. And looks like a tractor going across at the moment. And what good timing is that? So there you go. For four thousand shillings, you get a tractor across the um, the seabed. That'll take you to Charlie Island. <laughs> that is a bit of luck. Didn't expect to see that. So, the tractor to Charlie Island. As I say, it's 4,000 shillings. Uh, that includes a meal, apparently. And uh, you get to stay on the island all day. There is a white sandy beach somewhere on the island. I will leave details below. Um, of Charlie Island so if you want to visit uh, prices and everything else just check the details below so the tide is out on Charlie Island but when the tide is out you can actually walk along this fantastic little beach front I uh, highly recommend you check the tides and don't get trapped in so so this is Makame, he's my guy today, he's showing me about Charlie Island, he's just going to... Look at this, some amazing caves. Be careful of your head, where you step. Mind your head. Mind your head. Because these volcanic rocks are sharp and they will cut you. Fantastic view of Charlie Island. As the sun sets. Now here in Iwapiuko. Mango forest. That is the mango forest. Oh, yes. What's up we need for mango forest? Uh, mango forest is uh, Iyo, ni special ya mango ah, okay. e, ya Na wako na mangoes mingi hapo? Not mango. Ah. Mangrove. Oh, mangrove. Yeah, mangrove. Okay, I do apologize. <laughs> that is the mangrove forest. It's a project um, I guess a kind of like nature reserve. And uh, yeah. A lot happening here again. This is not your paradise beach, but there is a lot going on here as far as um, nature preservation and other things and also these rock formations well worth coming down and uh, having a look at so there you have it the road to Charlie Island nice little trek it's about three miles four or five kilometers something like that uh, if you're going to do that road I highly recommend you get a trial bike it is a bit of a rough terrain um, you can actually get tours that will take you on that road. I think it's about 500 shillings, which is about £3.50, something like that. And they will bring you to this point where you'll get taken across for 4,000 shillings um, to the island. So yeah, Char the road to Charlie Island. Well worth a little trek. And if you're lucky, you might even see some lions on the way. This is Kevin Arrington, Chef's Travels. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.